gentlemen, you're listening to the Vitality Five, and it feels very weird for us to be playing because this is a regular lineup. We we perform in London and all around the UK and Europe sometimes, and uh, it's it's uh, something that we regularly do. So it feels very odd. We we sort of feel both more prepared and less prepared. Uh, uh, that was a song called Copenhagen, and uh, an arrangement done for us by Nicholas D. Ball. Um, coming up now. Oh yes. Applaud him, why not? Coming up, here's something from Oliver Naylor and his seven aces called 31st Street Blues. that should be made. But fortunately, when it comes to the music, we usually agree. And uh, here's one we all love. It's written by Joe Jordan, recorded by lots of different groups in the 20s. It's called Morocco Blues.
Uh, we're now going to continue with a song which was written by Benny Goodman at the uh, age of 18. 19? God. God forbid I should get a fact wrong. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Michael. Um, and uh, it was uh, recorded on his first trio record with um, uh, the wonderful Mel Stitzel on piano and uh, Bob Konselman on drums. And um, Mike is going to play the Benny Goodman solo for you on clarinetitis. Number, we like to you know, play uh, transcriptions of records a bit like the last one, you know, we transcribe a favourite record and try and replicate it to some degree. But we also like to take tunes and write completely fresh bespoke arrangements in the own, our own Vitality 5 house style, um, which usually falls somewhere in the mid-twenties, but you know, there are outliers of course, and this is one of them. Um, written by Henry Lodge in 1912, so it's a, we're in ragtime land again, but we're not going to play it as a rag sort of feel, we're going to play it in the mid-twenties stompy feel. Um, and this one's called The Black Diamond Rag. <laughs>
Seufert's wonderful set of Duke Ellington's music, and um, we're now going to carry on with an Ellington tune called Misty Morning, and um, any Reeds player would be daunted by having to um, pay tribute to any Ellington Reed man after, after Matthias, so I'm sort of um, doubly divorced here because well, we will be playing, I will be playing Barney Begard one of his, uh, who was the clarinet player in Duke Ellington's band, he recorded very, very few tenor sax solos, so that's already one level of um, disconnect. And I'll also be playing it on the bass saxophone, so it's um, really quite a long way from the original. But we think it's great fun, and we hope you enjoy it. This is Misty Morning. Thank you. 
Uh, David Hornaglow on bass saxophone. Yeah. Uh, we're going to play a tune now from uh, the Red Nichols and his Five Pennies from 1926, one of their uh, famous Brunswick records, which are very good. And uh, this is a slightly rejigged arrangement for this band of uh, one of my favorite tunes from that band called That's No Bar. <laughs> jazz centenaries happening at the moment um, and it was sort of a hundred years ago that the ODJB came to London and they were debatably the first, well, I don't really want to say they were debatably the first jazz band to go to London, but anyway, um, they recorded this um, it's sort of a very amusing faux Egyptian novelty while they were over here and I transcribed this um, from a rather terrible transfer that I found on YouTube. And all the rest of the guys went round to um, Steve Paget's house earlier this month and listened to an absolutely wonderful copy of this record. I am so jealous. I think the best version of it I've ever heard is us playing it, so that's... I've got to go round to Steve's house. I don't know where he is. Anyway... It's all it, to Steve's place. Yeah. Get some drinks in, Steve. 58 cases of beer. All right, so enough. This is called Sphinx.
Uh, one thing that, um, as, as, a, as we're playing this set, strikes me as kind of funny is that we're doing a lot of different things within one set, which is sort of unwitty bay, isn't it? Sorry. Um, uh, so we're going to play now a tune which was written by uh, Chauncey Morehouse and Frank Trumbauer, and uh, it's, uh, it was recorded by Bix in various combinations. The Chicago Loopers recorded the slow tempo version, and um, of course, then it was recorded um, by Trumbauer's orchestra in a slightly faster tempo, and we shall take it in between the two tempos. So, uh, this is a nice modernist thing called Three Blind Mice. <laughs> this one. I discovered this tune a couple of years ago on this very stage playing with Keith Nichols um, and then wrote an arrangement for it for these guys. Oh, it might work quite well in this sort of lineup. And um, Andrew found, I think it was Andrew, well, it was anyway, found a poster online, right, which is dated from May the 8th, 1929 at the Savoy Ballroom, the Battle of Jazz, three bands, South Against North, right? The North was represented by Duke Ellington, Fess Williams, and Charlie Johnson. Strong. The South was represented by the Missourians, the Dix, Ike Dixon, and this band, uh, Roy Johnson's Happy Pals. Not really a very fair fight. I think the Pools panel would say home win. I mean, the other, the Southern bands are great, but come on. Duke Ellington, Fess Williams, Charlie Johnson. The, the, the eminent Mr. Dave Bach has just informed me, though, yes. that when this band came up to play, 
a battle of the bands with Chick Webb, they uh, uh, rather blew them off the stage with their groove. <laughs> right? So, nothing much to live up to there, then. <laughs> okay, this is the Happy Pal Stomp, which presumably was their theme tune. stage in this band of uh, adding tunes to our repertoire uh, that we don't realize until we've done the arrangement were written by Elmer Schobel, uh, a, great, a great name in early jazz in the early 20s in Chicago, piano player, and uh, he wrote just about every, if not every, every second great hot song. And uh, this is one of my favorites, and I know Colin likes this as well, so this one out, goes out to you, Colin. This is There's No Gal Like My Gal from uh, Original Memphis Melody Boys in 1923.
Uh, we're going to play two more tunes, and yes, we have uh, just about enough time. Uh, this is from the great Tiny Parham, who uh, of course was enormous, as per his name. And um, <clears throat> it uh, is a, a tune that he recorded with his band in the late 20s with uh, you know, the trademark scrapey violin, which shall be imitated by my own time. And uh, it's a great spooky thing, appropriate for Halloween, which we'll, we'll make a couple days off, called Voodoo. And we should probably add, this is on our CD, which you can ah, yes. find out there. Oh. In it's called Syncopation Gone Mad, title donated by Keith Nichols. A CD, how quaint. <laughs>